What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. All right, so today we're gonna be working on my buddy's new car, new car to him mainly. He just ended up buying a 2019 Nissan Murano. This is it. Now this is my buddy D Magnum 009 or Donald. You guys have seen him in previous videos. He actually has the Trailblazer. Uh, he's been, and he had a, what was that before? A, a Buick? That Buick never showed up in the videos though, but the Trailblazer, you guys used to be my old Trailblazer. He has it now. But this is his new car right here. He still has a Trailblazer, 2019 Murano. It's an SL model. You got the 20 inch wheels on it, silver. There's some stuff that's gonna go down with this car. There's gonna be a little bit of blackout we're gonna be doing on the car. Basically everything that's chrome, we're gonna delete. Kind of the same thing I do with my cars. But today what we're gonna be doing is installing the illuminated kick panels on this, just like I did on the wife's car that says Pathfinder. It's pretty much this whole light up and say Murano. So we're gonna be doing that install today. But just a quick look in the car. It's got the black interior, so he's got the black. It's got like a two-tone color right here. You guys can look at this, like a silverish, grayish color right here. But leather interior, heated seats, navigation, Apple CarPlay. He's got the big old panoramic roof that he keeps closed. You don't want nobody seeing him, you know. Go back here. Get the same thing. Heated seats in the back as well. So, car's a decent car. He likes it. You got the ambient lighting right there. And again, this Murano, this version of the Murano has been out since 2015, I believe, 2014, 2015. Kind of the same thing. It's been out for a while. It's still out now for 2023. They haven't really changed much on it. Uh, from what I know, they're probably going to get, be getting rid of the Murano this year or next year. Uh, either that, they got to completely revamp the car. But car is in decent shape. Really, really good. How many miles does it have on it, Donald? 53,000 miles on it. So got a good deal on it. So again, let's go ahead and get started on this install. Let's take a look at what we got over here first. So in the box, is pretty much what you get. These come separate. These are your connectors, your service connectors. I will put the part numbers down in the description below, but these are your part numbers for your service connectors. This makes everything a lot easier. Of course, you get some zip ties in there, which I have a ton of zip ties already. Some foam pads, that's to hide the wiring. You'll see that as I use them. And your wire taps, which we won't be using at all. Then in here, of course, here are your kick plates. So you have the Murano kick plates right here. Of course, designation right and left. The back ones are right here. This is just chrome. There's nothing on them. They don't light up, so there's nothing to do with the back ones. But just the front ones light up. So there's no, unlike the Pathfinder that we did, we had to run wires all the way to the back, from the back to the front and everything. None of that has to be done on this one. This is basically just the front ones light up. That's all they do in the back ones. It's just a chrome piece. So again, let's go ahead and get started on this. This is actually a pretty quick and simple install. So the only tool required for this installation is a plastic trim removal. You're going to insert the trim removal on the very edge of the plastic step plate or wiring cover, whatever you want to call this thing. Go ahead and pry up on it once you get it popped out and then use your fingers to pull up on the rest. Pull straight up. Be careful. You don't want to damage any of the plastic clips that are inside of here. Once you're done with that one, take your weather strip and pull straight up on it. You don't have to remove it completely, just the bottom piece there. And then you're going to take the inner trim and pull right out with your hands. Once you do that, take your plastic trim tool and remove the existing kick plate. Repeat the same process on the passenger side. All right. So just so you guys are aware, everything comes out pretty easily. This is pretty quick to do here. Now, the connectors are way up in here in the dash. I try to get as best pictures as I could. Uh, the pictures I'm going to put up are kind of blurry. You kind of see where they're at, but you can just reach up there. It's a white connector. It shouldn't have anything connected to it unless the car already has accessories on it, but it should have nothing connected to it. And that's where your accessory connector is going to go to hook up your kick plates. So they don't come down any further. Again, I try to get as best pictures, but it's, it's all crammed up in there. But if you reach all the way in there, you'll be able to feel it. And all you got to do is when you take the connector, it's just plug it into that area. That is it. So let's go ahead and get this cleaned out. 
We're gonna get, take some Arbenin alcohol and a microfiber towel, clean both sides out because the new ones will clip on here, but they also have 3M tape on the other side to basically secure them even better. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of. Take some rubbing alcohol and a microfiber towel and go ahead and clean everything really nice. Make sure it's nice and clean from any debris. So let's take a look at this. Basically here are your kick plates. They come in designations with a left and right stick around them, so you know which side is which. It only has basically a nice thin wire here with two wires sticking out of it, a positive and a negative black and red. It also comes with some foam tape, and that is to cover the wire. And again, I'll show you guys how that works in a bit. And you need to get these separate. These are your electrical or your accessory connectors, actually. And the only two wires we'll be using off of this are going to be the pink and the yellow. So you can basically, what I'm going to do, I'm going to zip tie the rest so they don't get in the way. Also, we have here some posi taps. So basically, I won't be using this because I'm going to be soldering everything together for a proper connection. But again, if you guys want to know how to use these, I have other videos that show this. I'll link them up in the description. You can check out those videos and I'll show you how to actually use these. So like I said, instead of actually connecting these with posi tabs, I'm going to be soldering them. I don't like using the posi tabs. I'd rather solder and get a proper connection. And the connectors are easy. It's basically pink to red and black to yellow. It's that simple. Pink to red and black to yellow. All right, so we got all the wiring connections done again. Here it is, black to yellow, red to pink. This one's done, the other side's done. It's all ready to go get installed over there. And now it's ba basically simple. It's basically putting everything on here. First, we're gonna plug it in. Once we plug it in, make sure it works. Then we should be all good to go just to basically run the wiring. The wiring, you're gonna run down this area here. And you can open these if you want. Um, I care less, you should go through here. Should be able to put the connector and everything through this, through in here and then zip everything tie if you want or however you want to do it. Uh, on the Pathfinder, I didn't do that. And some people were killing me in the comments because I didn't run it through the plastic things here, but you can, you have to, you don't really have to. It's up to you for a better clean, I guess. You, this, this part you won't even see anyway. So once we get that connected, make sure that the lights come on, then we could just go ahead and install it. So I'm going to show you guys right now. Okay, so now everything's hooked up, and of course I showed you guys where the connectors were. Um, pretty much, you can only fit one hand there, but again, just kind of grab the connector with one hand, and then just see the orientation of the plug, and you should be able to plug it in. Fairly easy. Um, again, just make sure you plug it in right and don't bend any of the pins. Right now they're on, both sides are on. There's the passenger side, driver side, of course. These work with your, of course, interior lights, which are these dome lights for the doors. So they go off of whatever delay you have. So if you have a 60 second delay. Donald, push the thing over there. You can actually test them by pushing this and holding it for about 60 seconds. Once your map lights go off, they go off as well, if you guys can see. Now, of course, when you open the door, which would be this plunger, if you release them, the lights come back on. Of course, your map lights are back on again there. So that's how they work. So they work off of your whatever delay you got set for the vehicle. Be at 45 seconds, 60 seconds, they'll stay on as long as the map lights inside the car are on. So now just got to finish installing them back on the car. We clean this area off over here and it's just now running the simple way of running the wiring and that's it. First thing you're going to do is you're going to insert your screwdriver into these small little channels here to pop open the wiring hold down. This is the factory ones. You pop these open and we're going to run the wiring through here. Now, of course, just make sure you just put the wiring. We're gonna put the plate on first. So go ahead and remove the protective film from the double-sided 3M tape. And again, line up all the clips and just push down on it. You should hear a snap when they kind of clip in. And then you wanna put some pressure on it for about 10 seconds just to make sure that the actual double-sided stick of tape holds onto it and it doesn't come apart. Make sure there's no gaps. And again, about 10 seconds, just hold it down. Then you're gonna take that foam pad and undo one side and then just kind of stick it 
long ways on to protect the wiring. And then again, just run the wiring through these and these clips just pop right back in place there. All right, so the wiring is ran. Everything is zip tied. I didn't use the ones that came with the kit because I like the fact the black one's better. It hides everything better. But wiring is ran. And again, I ran it through the connector or the hold downs for the wiring harness here. So nobody flips out on videos here. All properly hitting in there. Now we just got to put everything back together. Remove the clip, clip covering, but we'll do that once we get everything back together on there. And we're good to go. All right. Okay, so they're all done. This one's done. He's always in the way. Look at him, just, just, just. <laughs> that side's done as well. The only thing we gotta do is the back, but if you did the front ones, the backs are very simple. They just pop right off. I'm gonna do them off camera. They pop right off, clean that area, take the tape cover off, and snap them back on. There's no lights back here, so these are pretty much pop off and you know tape or glue back on there and clip back on there. So I'm gonna do these off camera. There you go, so it's that simple. Pop them off, clean the area up, remove the uh, tape cover over it, and then just pop them back in, nothing to it. The back ones are easy, two seconds. And then the front ones are all taken care of. They look good, look at that, Murano. I don't know why you got a big old grin over there. But either way, all right, so the reason he was laughing so hard over there for is because he basically caught the behind the scenes of how it is to film a, a video. And I messed up like three or four times and trying to speak and he started laughing. So that's why he was laughing. You guys don't see that part, maybe in some kind of blooper reel in the future you may, I may throw some video up there of all the bloopers that happen while you're filming. But anyways, so the car is all done. He's got the kick plates light up the same Murano now. Now to finish off the video, what he's actually doing, he's removing the plate frames because he doesn't like the plate frames. He's gonna keep the plate as is. He just wants no plate frame on it. But on the back, we're gonna also remove the plate frame from the dealer, of course, that was uh, that we bought the car from. And we're gonna replace it with one from JT Custom Creations. The dude makes awesome plate frames. I have one on the Escalade. I'm gonna make a shorts video on it as well as a quick TikTok will be on there for both plate frames, they're carbon fiber, and you can put it pretty much any lettering you want on there. Let me show you what his plate frame looks like. So this is his plate frame, of course, that's his handle right there. If you guys check him out on Instagram, and also on his TikTok, he's trying to grow his channel. I got a TikTok, but my channel is also small on TikTok there, or my page or whatever you wanna call it. But check him out, guy is a real funny guy. Well, he thinks he's funny. No, he's actually kind of funny. If you guys watch his videos, he's actually pretty funny. Some people have seen him on my videos before and they've actually commented saying he's actually pretty funny. But carbon fiber plate frame with his handle and of course, TikTok logo on there. And it's got, of course, silver to match the car. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this on the car right now. There you have it, guys. Look at that, D Magnum 009. TikTok, go ahead and follow him. But that thing look good on there, actually. With that silver on there. <laughs> like I said, I do have one on the Escalade. The wife's car doesn't have one yet. We haven't thought about what we wanted to put on it. But the Escalade does have one. Of course, my handle for YouTube and like a, the V Sport logo on there. That's for, of course, kind of my V Sport that I used to love so much. But I went ahead and did the V Sport just because I loved it so much and that was that was a car I actually really, really gotta miss. But again, JT Custom Creations. He'll hook you up with these plate frames. Go ahead and see him on Instagram, hit him up there. He'll get you going with these custom plate frames. All right, so that is it. That is the end of the video for now. Install his kick plates, the illuminated kick plates for the Murano 2019. Very simple install to do, does not take very much time. And again, I will put all the part numbers and of course everything I used on the description below. You guys pick them up there and that's it. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, go ahead and hit thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe button and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.